Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. We meet a Dr. Reed. We must breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. May I ask you what you do? I am... I was a landlord. A wealthy one. And not a very kind one, I realized recently. Why this sudden epiphany? Is it because of your near-death experience? I was already feeling nostalgic about Weymouth, my hometown. With recent events, I'm thinking about going back there. How is the situation in the West End? I've heard rumors about armed men patrolling and fighting infected citizens in these very streets. I was lucky they didn't shoot me when I was abducted. What can you tell me? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. Why are you so nostalgic for your hometown, Tadao? I was focused so much on making money, I almost forgot that my relatives and friends are threatened by this epidemic. Have you heard anything from your family? I was not only a bad landlord, I was also a bad husband. I've not seen my wife and son for years. Busy, busy, busy. At least now you're ready to go back and see them. But don't be surprised if your son bears a grudge, sir. You make it sound like you suffered from an absent father yourself, Dr. Reed. Well, I'll keep your warning in mind. Have you no friends at all? Over the years, I'm afraid my greed turned me into my friend's adversary, while I became friends with my professional rivals. Those you grew up with didn't share your views on money and success. Would you believe I was once a member of poetry circles and an astronomy club? We were young, such joyful dreamers then, that I stopped laughing long ago. Can you change? And is it what you really want? If so, it must come from within, not without. I've seen what an altruistic gesture can do. Nothing forced you to save me, Dr. Reed, but you did. I will follow your example in these matters from now on. There is no need to thank me. 
Rescuing a London citizen should not be out of the ordinary. Though I'm afraid it may appear so in these difficult times. You did not only rescue me, you fought for me. You put your life in danger to save me. That's quite extraordinary. How will you cope if you're attacked again? I don't know. I've heard about these men and women who patrol the West End every night, chasing criminals like my abductor. Maybe I should join them. Do you need... There is no need... Yes. Tell me, Tadao, why was your abductor so interested in your passion for astronomy? I don't know. We met a few times at the Royal Greenwich Observatory. He seemed to share my hobby. Then he invited me to his house and locked me in. Yes. Astronomy is a fascinating subject. When I was a child, my mother bought a small telescope for my sister and I. We spent many a pleasant evening stargazing. Stars are not just dots in the sky, Doctor. They are the key to our understanding of the cosmos. They remind us how insignificant we are. You're right. But children love magic and stories. I remember our mother told us constellations have the power to protect us. Protection by the light of the stars. That's sweet. You remember the name of these constellations? Cygnus. The constellation that was supposed to protect Mary. Memory's a strange thing. I can recite without hesitation the names of the 88 constellations. Yet I barely remember my own childhood. Did he fake his interest in... No. In his madness, he spoke about a blood sacrifice to be made to his master when the stars aligned to a specific configuration. Have you heard of Aloysius Dawson? Poor man. To die rich and alone, that was my plan for years. Money was the only currency I valued. Now I've started to realize it's not a life worth living. Goodbye, Mr. Kamal. Is there anything to connect me to this? Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to... Good evening. And... What is your... I'm sure you did what you had to without him suffering more than he deserved. I'm not sure I'd have been so merciful. Goodbye. She's been... Good evening, Miss Teasdale. Dr. Reed. Oh, thank God you returned safely from these awful streets. I was Please don't mention Good. I found him, you know. My dad. Or what was left of him. I think my abductor intended to do the same thing to me. What can you tell me? Never heard of Really? He's very well known in London. Throughout the country, even. Are he a big shot or something? Never interested in politics myself. All words and no action. Do you need my... I don't need... I have no doubt about it. All right, then. What do you do for... Before my kidnapping, I was a waitress in a pub. Now I'm unemployed. Were you fired? No. It's just that after my recent experience, I don't feel like I can go back to my normal life. I need to do something useful. What do you intend to do? Dad always told me, Louise, if you want something, don't stop until you have it. I did my research and I found it. Ichabod Frogmorton, professional vampire hunter. I'll be his apprentice. Be very careful, Miss Teasdale. You are lucky to escape death once. 
but vampires lurk everywhere. You killed my kidnapper by yourself, didn't you? No offense, Doctor, but you're just a doctor. I don't see why I couldn't do the same. What can you... I've never really liked this part of town. It was where my father wanted to live. What exactly don't you like about it? People here are contemptuous and elitist. My dad always said, Louise, always treat people like you want them to treat you. You seem to... Dad was the best. Kept an eye on me, but let me make my own mistakes. Louise used to say, mistakes are the best teacher. You would have liked to. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. That's all right. He's buried in consecrated ground now. Nothing bad can happen to him. Louise, tell me what you really think about your father's sacrifice to save you. I'm proud he went after me. I forgive him all his harsh words, all his bloody attitudes. I only wish I could tell him how much I loved him. Yes. It can be traumatic not having the chance to say goodbye to those we love. Yes, Doctor. And there's no treatment for that type of pain, isn't that right? That may be the last thing my father taught me. Louise, what can you tell me about the vampire who captured you? The little fucker claimed he'd fallen in love with me. That he wanted to spend eternity with me. Not a bad idea. At least that's the way it seemed at first. Really? Did you consider accepting his proposal? Well, immortality. Not a common wedding gift, is it? I think he just wanted to have his way with me. Can vampires even fuck, Doctor? What? Um, well, I, 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 I really can't answer that. I, I, well, since they are creatures of blood, um, physically speaking, I suppose an erection is possible, but I... Don't be embarrassed, Dr. Reed. I was just asking. Goodbye. Women's right to vote is only the first step. Women of all countries unite. I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise.
Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker profited to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. <laughs>